Welcome to Pluto, your hub from research to trade. In this video, we'll break down testing your automations on Pluto.fi. Let's dive right in. We're going to create a simple and random strategy. After you have created an automation, you can quick test your strategy against historical data and analyze its results. For many of you, there's a good chance your co-pilot is prompting you to run a test as a suggestion. If you click that button, it'll automatically test your automation at random. To choose your own time frame, directly type in your prompt request. We could say something like, how would this strategy have performed over the last two years? Remember, the more time frames you test, the more amount of data you will have to make informed decisions with. Oh, look here, it seems like our strategy fared well, even beating the benchmark. Your quick test result should look something like this. You may have a different grade than me, you can expand this to see the full list of metrics used to evaluate your automation. Let's pause to talk about what those are based on. The quick test grade is computed based on a variety of performance metrics, such as drawdown, profit and loss, sharp ratio, average trade, and many others. The importance of each metric depends on the strategy type that you're building and testing. Strategy types like general, trend following, mean reversion, investing, or scalping all slightly emphasize the importance of some metrics over others. Familiarize yourself with these metrics that are used for evaluation. Now, let's get back to the example to illustrate a general strategy quick test result and review some of the metrics we're talking about. This test resulted in the final grade of a B. The final grade is a weighted sum of the individual metric grades, an A being exceptional performance, and on the other end of the spectrum, an F represents poor performance. But don't be disheartened if you receive a lower grade. Remember, these test results are based on past performance, and the past does not predict the future. Once we expand the results, we can see each metric. Our positive points for this arbitrary test seem to be that we had average trades winning money, we had a lower risk score, and we actually beat the benchmark. What's the benchmark, you might be asking? You can always change your strategy's benchmark under the Options tab. This metric compares the performance of your strategy against a benchmark, like an index. For this strategy, we beat our set benchmark, meaning the S&P 500. You can also see some points for improvement here. It appears to be that the assets themselves outperformed our strategy. We also had poor cash utilization. Cash utilization measures how much of your cash is being used at any given time. We can see that only 33.14% of ours was in use. The other point for improvement appears to be our overall performance, as our assets performed better than our strategy did. Each of these insights are expandable as well, so take a look at which assets fared the best and which offer room for improvement. We can see here that our assets did perform better, it looks like Apple and Google did the best over the last two years in this arbitrary group of assets. So now that we have our results and insights, now what? Your results can be instrumental for fine-tuning your strategy, identifying its strengths and weaknesses, and gaining insights for further improvements. However, they should not be the sole determinant of your investment decisions. Use them in conjunction with other tools, further market research, and risk assessment. Once you're ready, you can activate this strategy live in your sandbox portfolio to see how it would perform in a live environment. Every grade from a quick test is a step towards understanding your strategy better. So don't fear those grades, embrace them, learn from them, and keep improving. Drop your questions about Pluto or any of our features below, and we look forward to supporting our users. Later, traders!